night, Pops. There's a door, all right? Now, I don't know what igloo you crawled out of, but I think it's time you crawled back in. And trust me, that's your uh, best move. Hey, look at that. It's the January-February movie season, and it's time for another action-packed Liam Neeson movie where he kicks the crap out of bad guys, and that's what he does in the new flick called Cold Pursuit. But it's a little bit different than that because we've seen Liam Neeson kick bad guys in the ass a lot over the years, and we know he can do that. But Cold Pursuit is a little different because this time he's just a lowly snowplow driver. I'm just a guy who keeps a strip of civilization open. Basically what happens is some bad guys do something wrong to one of his family members. You never want to piss Liam Neeson off because he will come hunt you down, and that's what he does. He goes and hunts down these bad guys, and uh, he takes them out. What makes you think you can kill a man? Of course, he hunts down the small fish bad guys to find out who the bigger fish bad guys are, and then he gets embroiled in this big drug gangland war that's taking place in Colorado, although it's all shot in Vancouver and in and around uh, the BC area. What is it with all these nicknames? Speedo, Viking, Eskimo. It's a gangster thing. Did you have a nickname? Wingman. So lots of familiar sights there. If you happen to be watching this review and are interested in a Liam Neeson movie, you're going to see a lot of your city in there. But what's different about Cold Pursuit is it's not just a Liam Neeson hunt the bad guys kind of movie. It's actually littered with a lot of good character work. It's a dark comedy, and I would say that the comedy doesn't really hit that well. Good for him. There are a few you know, chuckles in this movie, but it didn't really make me laugh out loud that often, but I appreciated the effort and I appreciated the numerous cast members that appear throughout this. Lots of good character actors. Laura Dern's got a thankless role in there as the wife who just can't get anything from this stoic, brave guy that is very, very angry and bottled up. And they've got some pretty interesting scenes, but she's only in the picture for a little bit. I'm gonna have to say a few words. William Forsyth is in there. Always like watching that guy do his job. <laughs> Emmy Rossum is in this as well, and lots of other faces that you've seen in other movies. I just did. I liked the way it all played out. It was a little long and it was a little loose, and it felt like it needed some editing and some tightening, but there are also some impactful moments and some interesting scenes in there. They've got this interesting little element in the film where whenever anybody dies, they get a little title screen that pops up. It's all black, and they either get a cross or some other symbol that pops up and says, uh, uh, the character's name and they're dead and they put the years they were alive and I thought that was pretty funny <laughs> You know overall, I thought it was a pretty entertaining picture Although it's certainly not in the category of a Coen Brothers movie and you know, we've seen these sort of loopy crime comedy dramas set in territories that we don't normally put uh, Hollywood cameras in before that have been done a little bit better But still this is not too bad for a trip to the movies in uh, you know wintry February and uh there's something about that Liam Neeson, man. It's always fun to watch that guy, no matter what he does. Even if he's in a total crap movie, Liam Neeson is pretty damn dependable, and he is once again in Cold Pursuit. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10.